It is the industry that fuels our economy, but to get the job done, the oil and gas industry needs workers. As we inch closer to another oil boom, demand is outpacing the workforce supply. News West 9's Rachel Ripp spoke with industry leaders about this problem. Rachel, why can't they find help? Well, Crystal, local service companies like the one you see here behind me tell me they've had to up their day rates to be able to compete with higher unemployment benefits. Now, you'll remember during the pandemic, those unemployment benefits were raised a few hundred dollars. Now, that ended in Texas just about two weeks ago. So these gas and oil, oil and gas employers hope that that news will encourage Texans to get back to work. The sweet sound of oil production. It's certainly music to our ears in West Texas. But lately, oil and gas service providers tell us they're having a hard time gaining back their local employee base. In these areas, we continue to struggle with employees. You know, we, we need more employees. And, um, and so we're, that, that is also a struggle for us that are service companies uh, trying to find employees to make sure that we're keeping up with the demand of the oil producers. For example, Premier Energy Services had 150 workers before the pandemic. They have 90 now and are still trying to climb back to their original number. I think the government is not helping us in our right now with um, the support they're giving us, you know, by the allowing you know, people to stay in the home, you know. I do understand that what we went through, you know, the, the COVID, you know, they the, the just uh, really terrible for, for everybody you know, in the country. But I think it's time, you know, they go back to work. Now service companies are having to up the ante by offering more money to workers. Service providers say when activity grows with the price of oil, there usually aren't enough people in the Permian to meet that need. So they look out of state too. But there's people from uh, Pennsylvania, people from West Virginia, people from Canada, Colorado that are coming here to work because they're, they're their job economy is not as good uh, in those areas. Local oil leaders say that hopefully with the governor's recent nixing of unemployment benefits, oil and gas will reap the benefits. I think the state of Texas has been bold in, in eliminating that, so that's going to help us. So we'll start seeing a lot more opportunities for people to come on board. Now, the downside in this is that all these service companies have had to eat the cost of offering more money because the main operators aren't increasing pay. Reporting live in Midland County, I'm Rachel Ripp. Back to you, Crystal.